Today we're back at it again with the DJI Mini 4 Pro flying in confined spaces. This is flight number three. The first flight was with these prop guards and I was able to fly through here to this 24 inch space, no problem. And if you're interested in that flight, check out the video here and down below. I bumped into trees and actually crashed into a tree and fell down and it worked great. The feedback I got was that the collision avoidance was turned off with the prop guards. So I did the entire test flight again without prop guards in normal mode. And what happened is I got here, you can see that flight test up here, and it just wouldn't do anything, just froze. I could rotate it and I could raise it up and lower it down. And then eventually I just had to land it here on the porch because it just didn't do anything else. And I couldn't get it to fly through the limbo horse, which is four feet wide, four feet tall. I posted that video. That's available up here and down below. And I got a comment that said, did you try nifty mode? And I said, no. So I adjusted the tablet in nifty mode and we're gonna see what happens. Are you gonna be able to fly it in the spaces that you can with the prop guards, but get the collision protection? So now it's time to fire up the quadcopter and do another flight in nifty mode. Brake obstacle avoidance bypass, normal nifty bypassing when controlling aircraft control strikes, aircraft bypasses obstacles proactively and maintains a safe distance from obstacles. Let's go nifty, as somebody suggested. When controlling aircraft control sticks and nifty bypassing enabled, aircraft avoids obstacles with more subtle attitude change and flies more smoothly. We'll take the risk. So we're in nifty now. Supposedly that will make a difference. Back out and let's take off. It doesn't want me to do anything. Let's see. Back it up. Whoa. Doesn't like anything over there. Oh, you know why? It's got the cover on. All right, now it's a little more fun. Let's raise it up a little bit. Let's see if it will let me go in. In nifty mode. The warnings are going off. Okay, it's freezing on me just like it did before. Nudge it forward, Let's raise it up. Whoa. Let's bring it down. Rotate it. and see if we'll go forward. Okay, now let's see if it sashays out. We'll raise it up a little bit because I don't want to hit anything. All right, nifty mode works. Move it forward. And I want to make sure I get this right. Go in. Come on in. Come on in. You can do it, little guy. Gotta nudge it, nudge it, nudge it. Let's rotate it. I'm not feeling real confident it's gonna be able to go. I wanna send it through this hole here, but I don't think it's gonna go. So let's try doing it the other way. Let's go forward. A little bit more. All right, it's moving. Getting up behind it now. Let's see if I can get it through the bigger hole. Let's raise it up and move it forward. Okay, flew through. Not bad. Now let's see if we can get it to fly through again this way. All right, here we go. Flying towards me. Okay, it's moving around a lot more than it did before. Yeah, let's get behind it. And we'll see if we can try getting it through this time. It's changing altitude a lot in Nifty. All right, I'm gonna get up right up here. 
and see if I can fly through this hole. Wish me luck. Come on now. Oop, it's, you know, it's drifting a little bit. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit and see if I can get it to the smaller hole. Orient it a little bit. All right, let's see if we can go. Wish me luck. Nope. All right, let's go to the side. See if we can get it out to the side. All right, we can get it out to the side, but we can't get it to go through that small hole. Fly through a smaller hole, probably a five foot by five foot hole. We'll fly in. It hesitates and then makes it through. Warnings all over the place. You got to really force it. It's like it's resisting you. All right, so we'll rotate a little bit. Let's see. Now I'm going to try to change its orientation a little bit. Okay, it's coming straight to me. Come at me. All right. And again, we'll try to fly it through. All right. Interesting. While it's in a hover, I'm going to reset and see if I can get it to limbo. Bring it down. Bring it forward. Orient it the other way. Okay, now it seems to be very sensitive. Go forward. Let's go down and see if we can make it limbo. Down. Sashay to the left. Here's the tricky one. Dun 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 dun. All right, I don't want to go any lower than that. So you can go over to the side. It still wants to climb, but I want to see if it goes through the hole. Targeting the hole. Go forward. Nope, it wants to go. Oh, it went through the hole. <laughs> Holy moly. It did it. So nifty does work. All right, let's redo it going the other way. So it's pivoted around. Come on now. Yep. Isn't that nifty? And then it goes up. Wow. Okay. That is really interesting. And it's warning the heck out of me the whole time. Just do a quick climb. All right. It's pretty close to the tree. Let's bring it back down. And bring it down. Let's check altitude. All right. <laughs> wow. So how nifty is nifty mode? It allowed us to fly through here, fly through here, but it still wouldn't let us go through this two foot space. It did allow us to do the limbo under the red pool noodle, which is a space four by four. And that seems about as small as I could get. I could also do it on the other end where the port swing was, where I came in and out, no problem. Lots of warnings, but it still worked. If you're going to be in a confined area, you can use one of two options. Prop guards, and if you have something that's not a Mini 4 Pro, and maybe a Mini 3 or Mini 2, maybe the prop guards are the way to go. It will protect the quadcopter. You probably don't have the sensors to do the protection otherwise. If you want the collision avoidance, don't do normal mode, do nifty mode at your own risk. You really have to pay attention. There's no guarantees you're not going to run into something and crash your quadcopter. So best of luck in your own personal trials. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of evaluations of quadcopters and quadcopter gear, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds, I evaluate sports gear and photography equipment. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what nifty thing you're going to see.